my greetings and sorry I will talk in English also. <laughs> Maybe some of you will have difficulties with this. Please ask questions, any of them. Now, uh, oh. <laughs> sorry. Mm -hmm. Now, this is about the joint uh, project and about the legislation, about the arrangement and also the implementation process, about uh, the internship of the uh, master students in an urban design studio, busy in making the master planning for a rare pre remained historical city in Armenia. Now, um, uh, here, the, the, this is a problem that uh, the environment uh, goes worse starting to, uh, with the 20th century. And so the landscapes, both natural and urban landscapes, are going to be protected as the pressure, the urban pressure on these kind of landscapes become higher and so these problems become urgent. Cities are losing their natural landscapes and also the urban identity. identity. Uh, that's why the sustainability in special development is becoming as urgent as never. The sustainability is the, as the same as smart, resilient, or livable. The, as you see, the definitions are different, but uh, the goal is the same, to make friendly living environment for people. And uh, the sustainability develop need to obtain a broad presentation of the all professionals, technicals, and also the social groups to ensure the recognition of the changing values. Then to ensure the particip participation of decision makers to secure a link between the adopted uh, policies and also propose a real action plan to uh, access the results. Uh, finally, we start with the same point. What is the main uh, goal for uh, making all these people? We all need only three activities, living, working, and leisure. We need to find the link between these three uh, activities and uh, try to find the most favorable and uh, comfortable way to join them together. Uh, why? Chosen Goris. Uh, this is a city, a small city in the southern part of Armenia, and uh, the main goal for choosing this sustainability because of the city's historical value and the a danger of losing this urban identity gradually. So the, there was a study together in the joint group with the students and the professionals for making the uh, study evaluation and proposal of action plans for making this uh, uh, research work. The main components of sustainability have been chosen according to their uh, main four uh, components, which are the cultural, environmental, social, and uh, economical. But one of them has been become, become the major on the basis of which the main uh, strategy have been developed. This is the cultural component uh, uh, to keep the urban identity via the, its heritage protection to keep the sustainability with all the components of the sustainable development. This is the projection, restoration, revitalization, and rehabilitation of these values. This is the city plan, if you pay attention. This is located in a valley, and originally it had become, uh, it has formed on the base of Cave's cave settlement on one bank of the river. Later, with the, uh, to improve the conditions, the area have been uh, shifted to the valley part of the river bank, and a regular hippodamic road net has been erected for this. And uh, we, there, there was a main task in order to make development via protection and uh, revitalization. Uh, taking into consideration both the cultural activities, environmental, the use of territories in order to propose the ways of protection and evaluation, the urban identity in order to find the way to uh, keep this and give to future generations in the uh, form which we get it from our previous uh, people. 
Uh, now the structure of the strategy uh, for the special development of, of the area. The first step was study, evaluation, definition of the problems, then putting the goals and find the general vision, after which the actions have been proposed. Now. Uh, to talk uh, about the importance and the uh, way to choose the city beside the historical heritage, uh, I want to pay your attention to the uh, utilization of the areas. Uh, this is the uh, plan of Armenia, and the dark color shows the utilized areas, density uh, being conditionally higher. This is only one, if you pay attention, the central part where the capital is located is the highly uh, populated area with the high infrastructure and pressure on the natural landscapes. And if, again, uh, we can see that over uh, 80, 90 percent of the cities are located in this zone. All other areas are rarely populated rural areas with low density and uh, low infrastructure. Uh, this is uh, Armenia and the surrounding countries. We can pay attention that we have north, south, and uh, one east-west uh, connections with the surrounding countries, and one of them is located uh, in Go uh, through Goris city. This is the junction of three main directions uh, connecting, uh, connecting these uh, north-south and east-west directions. And originally, it has been a part of the Great Salt Road, according to which and with the help of which it has been developed. And the cave settlement shifted to the valley part uh, and uh, here the study of the polycentric urban frame according to the sustainable development requirement have been decided for the city, finding all the uh, settlements being in the f accessibility zone and the influence zone of the city. This becomes a cultural center having its impact on the surrounding areas. Uh, now you can see these are the uh, cities and sub-centers according to the sustainable development because the concentration in the metropolitan areas make these areas out of development and equal conditions that people can give, thus supporting the migration from this area. Uh, settlements in this area are shrinking. Now, again, uh, about the uh, idea to take this city uh, as a goal for making this research study on sustainable special development and uh, heritage protection. This is the intersection, and this is the city on this intersection of these uh, ways. And this is the place of Mulberry Vodka, famous for this fruit uh, branding vodka, and also a city of open water channels. We have a lot of water, uh, spring water, passing through the city and going to the river. So the sustainability needs also to pay attention to this also. Now, uh, this is a city as uh, being introduced as a link between past and the future because, as I said, one bank is the cave settlement yes, and the other bank is nowadays a valley uh, settlement. Uh, both are linked but with uh, low links uh, such as small bridges, so the link and integration of the two parts are again a subject of the study. And uh, this has high uh, educational and high uh, handicrafting uh, 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 traditions as well. Uh, one more thing, the north-south uh, uh, highway passes through this city. I mentioned that this is both as advantage, this is a dual uh, influence. The second is passing through the heritage uh, part, the central historical core of the city. It had bad environmental impact, making pollution, making dangerous in this situation. It cut the area into two parts and also uh, making damage uh, for the historical buildings. 
the vibration caused this damage to the historical buildings. Now there is a complex decision of this uh, of solution of these problems. During the study, uh, uh, a development process has been uh, studied. Uh, via the development stages starting, if you pay attention, the first uh, figure shows the cave settlement. It is a very small part until this building uh, expanded and uh, the, uh, it, that was an urban sprawl after which it stopped and now this, this is a shrinking city. These are the photos, one from the valley part and the others from the cave settlement part. And this is the amphi ancient amphitheater of the part. This is the old master plan. Uh, these have been elaborated by the foreigners. Why I pay attention to this? Because here you can see uh, a few high buildings. All other buildings, the value of the city is not uh, as a one monument. This is the raw construction of the city. We have a regular net, uh, the master plan, uh, for the master plan done by the foreigners with the hippodamic map uh, plan. And the net consists of uh, rectangles having equal sizes, 160 to 102 meters. And we have uh, even f from the former times, energy efficiency uh, from the old uh, decision makers in order to make the uh, backyard part where the main lifetime process have been uh, arranged, protect it from the major winds of the area. So th we have here the perimeter construction completely covered, having dual uh, arcs one for horses, one for people uh, to the internal part, uh, the protected area where we have mild conditions and to spend all the time here. This is the old set, uh, cave part of the settlement. And uh, then uh, this is what was the existing data. We started with the existing data and the students uh, tried to uh, make the situation study. In the result, we uh, gathering all the existing arcs and uh, in the result of the study finding out the peculiarities of the arcs, sometimes having uh, three circles in one arc making and you can see also the special masonry construction. This is the local stone, basalt stone, and the plaster with circular uh, forms on the main elevations. And these are the types of the uh, windows uh, used in this area. Then uh, the study of the internal core, uh, central core of the historical par part uh, uh, clarify the following, that the buildings have been modified multiple times, uh, losing their identity and uh, transforming it in a new shape, uh, uh, not uh, relative to the existing historical settlements. These are the multiple modifications. The same have happened also to the master plan. If we pay attention, you can see big buildings. This is industrial zone fit into the historical core later after uh, the Soviet, uh, during the Soviet time. And also the construction of these buildings are rather different by the material. The local stone is basalt and here too have been used in these buildings. You can pay attention also granite uh, facing for the buildings which is again non uh, relative to this area. So the urban identity is being lost gradually. There is also another uh, heritage. This is the Soviet period, and as all the area is um, surrounded with slopes, the terrace type of uh, housing has been uh, applied here. Uh, this uh, pro project has been chosen in the result of an international competition and repeat the forms of the slope, if you pay attention. The last picture show the nowadays condition of these buildings and see that urban identity again is lost, both in historical core and also in new buildings. Beside, here we can see the existing structures and one building uh, is, if, as I say, the main value was the row construction being uh, mostly one or two story buildings. First story for the handicrafting and also the artisans, uh, which was famous in this place, making silver uh, objects for the uh, treasure, uh, for the selling, and also. Uh, 
pottery making. These were the famous things being done here. But there were a few also footprints of three storied buildings. This building is different by its material, and it was the former gymnasium building and the bath, and has suffered in the result of fire. This building on the, uh, is in danger of being demolished completely. So there was decided there in the result definition of the historical part of the building which have been uh, declared as a reservation by the government and we have laws on uh, urban planning on historical heritage protection but the uh, area is losing its urban identity uh, gradually what is wrong what is going to be done all the sceneries as again to pay attention the road net have been done in a manner in order to all the accesses to be facing to the cave settlement each transversal axis is to the one point of the cave settlement. There is a church there, there are other cave settlements, one or two apartment settlements, and all are facing here. But the vegetation and other structures cover these views again. So there was a proposal for cleaning this part and opening these areas again. This is a section of this area and showing the low links between two parts of the area. This also a a study, a detailed study of the silhouette, of the outline of the city, and the lost parts of the existing historical uh, construction have been done. And on the base of all this, the proposal, uh, the, the streets also lose their streetscapes. Uh, the beautification was also in the base of the proposal, uh, the task for the uh, students. And uh, uh, the, the result was according to all the tasks which given to this part. Uh, the uh, final resume was to provide the sustainability of this place, urban sustainability, need to uh, make some uh, measures to apply to the uh, building system of the uh, area because this is uh, the main aspects of the national strategy being implemented via different local strategies and uh, projects uh, on the base of this main national strategy. The, uh, also, the consideration and energy efficiency for nowadays use of historical buildings, because this needs a special approach. We can't do this. Uh, from outside, outside uh, shapes, our appearance is going to completely be protected. And there is an experience already done here for a historical building, making energy efficient its roof part. Uh, the roofs, again, are the import here, are, are the uh, experience for the historical building's energy efficiency with covers, additional covers. Also, reorganizing uh, the streetscapes with the original materials, because some of them, the balconies hanging over the main streets have been demolished to re repair. You can see the uh, result of the proposal of the internship work. And also the car-free central part, center core uh, uh, free of car, having pedestrian and bicycle lanes for this. If you pay attention here, no car is going to have access to the historical part, a car-free center. Then the materials uh, used for the uh, uh, elevations mod modernization and modification is going to be used according to regulations. In the, task, the link between the uh, two parts is going to be strengthened in order to have access to these areas. One more thing is the axis, uh, the compositional axis, the river which uh, divide the whole parts. And this is a highland river. And sometimes in the uh, springtime, there is flooding of this area. So the regulation of this part and making this livable and usable by the, the coastal part, the banks are never used. If you pay attention to the central part, this is the existing conditions. And the result is the proposal to make it both uh, free of flooding, danger of flooding, and also to make usable by the residents. I mentioned also the water channels passing through the whole city. This is the branding of the city, but also we have 
water resources lost, no kind of use of this water. There is a proposal in the lowest point to have the, fa the part that facing the uh, historical uh, cave settlement to have a view plain and a reservoir under this part. Uh, this can uh, transform the part of this water to a waterfall and other part to use to for irrigating the public green areas of the city. Recycle, uh, circle uh, type of use of this area. Another proposal was refurbishment of the three-story footprint building, the former gymnasium building, but giving, uh, again, educational um, value, uh, making here an IT center, but in the result, this is the measuring of the uh, building being done during the uh, summer practice work in the uh, places, and these are the proposals for having here IT center, keeping the main elevation as is the historical part and the backside which have been lost completely to make in a modern way uh, of this. Uh, parallel to this, the proposals in uh, for planning uh, have been proposed. This is these are the control regulations. As if we see, we have all the laws, but the city shape street shape is being lost gradually. What is the uh, opportunity to make this possible to protect. These are the tools need for elaboration of guidelines. Guidelines preserve to, uh, to preserve, protect, and restore in order to uh, make the uh, unique architecture for the uh, inhabitants and have, having public uh, discussions with the inhabitants in order to uh, explain the need of keeping the historical value of the building, be buildings, because sometimes they reconstruct their buildings themselves in order to have better conditions for living, enlarge or modify somehow, uh, never understanding that the economic vitality of the city can be done through the historic preservation. This is, these are proposals uh, for the future uh, programs of the city. And the zoning ordinance, uh, uh, again, to be uh, elaborated, but uh, also having a regulating board, a planning board, to keep these regulations for the local communities. The zoning guidelines are going to identify the preservation se sections, make codes for regulations and for protection of this, and then control the future modifications. Also in the future constructing in this part of the city to make a regulation for the used exterior materials, colors, roofs, as we have here, the fifth elevation locating in a lower altitude, we can have opportunity from the, uh, all the car access to this part to see the roof part of the building. And this was all that have been done during this project. And I can say then partially it is being implemented by the local authorities. The bridge connecting the two parts of the building in the result of this project have been, this joint project uh, have been accepted. So this is a few appearance of this part. Thanks. Okay. Thank Tracks. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this would be the one. Uh, the second one is uh, there are a system of plots, uh, a really, very big plots, and uh, what is the source of the, the life of the people at the time? Mm -hmm. I had uh, uh, a, 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 
protection that they don't use anymore uh, for agriculture, these huge plots, was, was made uh, from the first uh, plan of urbanism. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Now about the highway, I mentioned that this is a great uh, problem for having this, uh, though, uh, again, advantage for having activities here, passing, uh, having movement. This uh, makes some activity by the trading, uh, etc. And the city itself have been uh, developed on the base of this highway. But nowadays, the trucks, as you say, they, they pass is causing all these difficulties. So a ring road around this city have been proposed in during the strategic planning in order to take out all this transit movement out of the city, yes, uh, going around this and keep this as a local road, having just a link to the main highway uh, in the future. What about the plots? Uh, the plots are uh, half used, as, as you noticed, because of uh, absence of the uh, uh, property owners. Uh, some of them, this is completely agricultural uh, part. Uh, there are, uh, the, the, the region, it is industrial region. Some people go working in the neighboring sub-regions in the industry, and uh, but living in this city. But the city itself is completely agricultural. And uh, also, as I mentioned again, mulberry vodka, and also the fruits, and also drying the fruits, these are the uh, things. There is a big uh, beer factory near this place. This, there is a big uh, regional hospital. And also there is the uh, cheese factory in this area. Uh, so uh, the uh, agricultural um, um, business is uh, developed in this area. Recent years, the tourism become a very big part of economy development of this region because the city itself have a lot of uh, important monuments. Uh, and uh, last years, uh, there is another rural settlement nearby. Maybe you visited this place also, Khanzoresk. Yeah. And uh, um, uh, hanging bridge, swinging bridge have been erected here. This has also an old uh, settlement and the new one. And there is a big flow of tourists to this place. And not far, only 15 kilometers from here, there is an, um, that have monastery. And recently, in the former times, it was a difficult way to have access to this part. This was only by car going down uh, for 200 meters. Um, to the uh, canyon and going up to the yes. But recently, the longest ropeway have been uh, uh, constructed there, and it have uh, attractiveness for a big number of uh, uh, touristic flows to this place. And this is a region where we have all the past. So people, uh, even I can say that to find a, a free a hostel or a, a b and b or a hotel in Goris, it become difficult when making the summer visits to this place for the measuring uh, practice. Uh, we uh, find only a, a friend's home there to stay until it was uh, free. So these three uh, main fields are the economy for this region.